Oh, hey there. I was just getting ready to go play outside. Do you know what this is? It's a baseball. I think baseball is my favorite sport. Do you have a favorite sport? Yeah? Well, there's a lot of sports to pick from. Uh, they're just a great way to be active and really get your body moving. And all of them require you to practice if you want to be really good. That's why I'm getting out to the field. One day, I want to play on the big field, under the bright lights, with the cheers of the crowd behind me as I knock one out of the park. Is loaded, gotta hit a home run out of this place. Here comes the pitch, I swing as hard as I can. Yeah, it's going to space. I wanna win the Super Bowl, I wanna win the World Series, Final Four, World Cup, Hall of Fame. I don't really care what kind of ball you're passing to me. Sorry about that. I must have been daydreaming. Guess it's time for me to get out on the field and practice. Let's use my fire flying fireflies to take us there. <laughs> take me to the baseball field. Danny, go! <laughs> We're here at the baseball field. Oh, I can't wait to start playing. What should we do first? Hmm, let's check out our gear. Oh, ooh, I got my baseball glove. Let's do some throwing and catching. Huh, I guess I gotta go get it now, huh? You know, maybe if I'm fast enough, I could catch my own throw. Let's give it a try. Whew. Playing catch with yourself is trickier than I thought. I know, let's do some hitting. That's my favorite part of baseball. I'll grab a bat. 
<laughs> All right, let's hit it to the outfield. Ooh. Let me try that again. Feel good about this one. Yes! <laughs> you see that hit? Oh, I, uh, I guess I gotta go get it though, huh? You know, I think baseball would be a lot more fun with friends. But who can I play with? Oh, it's Pat Bap and Beerhead. And they're nearby. Let's go see what they're up to. Oh, hey guys, what you doing? Hey Danny Go, we're just conducting an experiment on all these balls from different sports. We cut each ball in half so you can see inside and discover what they're made of. Check it out. We have a basketball, a golf ball, a baseball, a bowling ball, and a football. Now, the plan is to drop each ball and see which one bounces the highest. Ooh, I can test that right here. <laughs> well, no, not exactly. We were planning on dropping them from up there. Whoa, that'll be awesome. That's so high. Yep. Hopefully we get some good bounces. We were just discussing our hypothesis. Hypothesis? What's a hypothesis? Oh, a supposition or proposed explanation made on the basis of limited evidence as a starting point for further investigation. Oh, so it's like a guess that you can test? Exactly. Oh, okay. So what's your guess? Well, I'm guessing that the basketball will bounce the highest because it's the biggest ball. Hmm, interesting. Can I make a guess? Sure. Okay, I think the bowling ball will bounce the highest because it's the heaviest. <laughs> okay. Bearhead, how about you? Uh, nothing against this one. Oh, <laughs> football? Why? Oh, because I love that one. This is brown. Oh, because footballs are brown and bears are brown too? <laughs> Silly bearhead. So which one do you guys want to bounce first? <gasps> Ooh, can I drop the baseball first? I really love baseball. Yeah, let's do it. All right, come on. Let's go. Baseball, three inches in diameter, 5.25 ounces. Composition, cork and rubber center with a stitched leather covering. All right, Danny Go, are you ready to drop the baseball? Oh yeah, I think it's gonna bounce like crazy. All right, you're gonna try to drop it right on this X. Oh, okay. Let's get out of here. <laughs> now remember kids, never try an experiment like this without adult supervision. Safety is cool. Here we go. Whoa, let's see that again. Now let's see how high it got. Pretty good. <laughs> All right, how'd it do? Not bad, Danny Go. Let's try a few more though, see if we get any higher bounces. Okay, uh, what should we do next? Oh, I'd really like to try the basketball, see if my hypothesis is correct. <laughs> oh, that's right, here. Basketball, 9.5 inches in diameter, 22 ounces. Composition, inflated rubber bladder inside a synthetic rubber or leather covering. All right, Pat Pat, you ready to drop that basketball? Yeah. It's the largest ball. I think it's gonna bounce the highest. All right, let's see how it does. Okay. Oh wow, that was really high. Let's look at the bounce cam. Look how much higher that bounced than the baseball. Oh, that was really high, Pat Pat. Could be a winner. Yeah, I'm feeling really good about that one. But we still gotta test our other options. Oh, you're right. Uh, okay, which one should we do next? Oh, oh, the football bearhead! Go give it a shot! Football, 6.7 inches in diameter, 15 ounces. Composition, inflated rubber bladder with a stitched leather covering. Okay, bearhead, let's see how the football does. <laughs> it's a weird shape. I'm really curious. Whoa, that one bounced sideways. Let's see how high it got. Looks like basketball is still the highest. <laughs> oh, Bearhead, that was a crazy bounce. Uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> All right, I want to try the bowling ball next. I think it's going to bounce the highest. Yeah, okay. go for it. <laughs> bowling ball, 8.5 inches in diameter, 14 pounds. Composition, metal oxide and resin inner core, polyester and resin outer core. 
Okay, Danny, are you ready? Uh, yeah, I think so. All right, the bowling ball is the heaviest. Let's see if it bounces the highest. <laughs> Let's go. Let's see a replay. Looks like that bounced the lowest so far. Oh man, that didn't bounce very high at all. No, it didn't, but that's okay. We still got one more to go. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Golf ball, 1.68 inches in diameter, 1.62 ounces. Composition, rubber core with a hard cell and cover, which contains hundreds of dimples. <laughs> all right, it's the last one. Are you ready, Pat Pat? <laughs> yeah, the golf ball's the smallest ball. Let's see what happens. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Whoa, that was really high. We gotta see that again. Now let's see how that compares to the other bounces. Looks like the golf ball's the winner. <laughs> wow, the golf ball bounced the highest. That's not the largest or the heaviest ball. I guess size and weight aren't what caused the ball to bounce high. Yeah, you know, maybe it has something to do with how they're made. That's brilliant, Danny Go. Let's take another look at the inside of the golf ball. This material must be what causes the ball to bounce high. So it's not about the size or the weight of the ball, but really what's inside. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Each sport requires a different type of ball. Some sports need the ball to be bouncy, while others need the ball to have little to no bounce. I'd love to study these a little more. <gasps> I have an idea. Why don't we go try out some of these sports for ourselves? Oh, I'm in. Barrett? Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's go. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, and there's the net. Pass it to me, Pat. All right, here it comes. Oh, oh yeah, you got a point. Yeah. I love this sport. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey there, what are you guys playing? Oh, we're playing soccer. Ha, that's not soccer. Oh, it's not? Nope, and I happen to be a soccer player. Oh, that's cool. I'm Danny Go, and these are my friends Pat Pat and Bearhead. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm DT. Would you like me to teach you how to play? <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be great. Great. So in soccer, there are two teams, and each team is trying to kick the ball into the opponent's goal. <gasps> oh, you kick it. <laughs> I should have known. Yep, no hands allowed, except for one player on each team called the goalie. Their job is to protect the goal. The rest of the team works together to try and get the ball in the opponent's net using mostly their feet. They can also use their chest, their thighs, and their head to get the ball in the opponent's goal. So let's start with some soccer basics using our feet. Small short kicks allow you to move the ball down the field past our opponents. This is called dribbling. Next is passing. When we want to pass the ball to our teammates, we use the inside of our foot like this. Finally, we also use our feet when we kick the ball into the net. We strike the ball with the top of our feet using our laces. This helps us to control the ball past the goalie. Look, let me show you. Okay, now that you guys have the hang of it, let's play a little game. Two on two. We can take it in turns trying to score past the other team. <laughs> oh yeah, I call DT. Uh, well, looks like it's uh, you and me, Bearhead. 
Why don't you be goalie, and I'll try and stop him from getting to you. Okay, that's all good. Oh, 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 yeah. All right, let's do this. Yeah! <laughs> great block, Bearhead! <laughs> oh, yeah, great block, Bearhead. Now you guys try to score. Here comes, Bearhead. <laughs> oh, great shot, Bearhead. You guys won that round, but there's two more rounds to go. Nice block, Danny Go, but we still got one more round to go. I can do it. All right, DT, we're tied up. What do we do? Okay, Danny Go. When you get close to the goal, cross it into me high, and I'll use my head to score a goal and show him how it's done. Oh, all right, I'll give it my best shot. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Your plan worked! Nice try, Bearhead. Great game, guys. That was awesome. Oh, what a great game. I had so much fun out there, guys. Thanks so much for teaching us the basics of soccer, DT. Absolutely. I had a great time, and you guys picked it up real quick. Thanks. I'm excited to keep practicing so I can get better and better. But we've still got one more sport to play today. Baseball. <laughs> I tried playing by myself a little earlier, but I think it'll be a lot more fun with friends. What do you think, Pat? Yeah, right after Barrett tries to block this shot. <laughs> Where's Barrett?
Watch. <laughs> oh, I really wanted to bet first. <laughs> okay, great. I'll play outfield. <laughs> Who's gonna pitch to me? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Hey. Airhead. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> we need a third player. Okay. Here. Why don't you pitch? <laughs> oh, let's do it. Oh yes. Whew. All right, Bearhead. Send me one right down the middle. <laughs> Throw him your curveball, Bearhead. Nice catch. Ah, I'm out. Who's next? Bearhead, you want a bat? I kind of want to try pitching. Okay, yeah. Let's do it. All right. Woo, woo, woo. Uh, All right. You better keep your eye on this one, Bearhead. It's coming in hot. Yeah, All, All right, right, Danny, go. Give him the heat. Yeah, that way. Head. Wrong way! <laughs> oh, bear head. Oh, oh bear head. <laughs> you silly bear. Oh. All right, Danny, it's your turn to bat. I'll take the mound. All right. <laughs> All right. This one's going out of the park. Ow. Oh, wow. I didn't mean Not to. right now, Danny, go. But are you okay? I'm fine. Just give me some space. Oh, Bap Bap seems really angry. I hope he knows I didn't do that on purpose. I don't know how to help him right now. I know, I'll go get him some ice. Man, accidents are tricky. Even though I didn't mean to hurt Pap Pap, I still feel bad. I really hope this ice will help him. Hey, Pap Pap. Oh, hey. I, uh, I brought you some ice for your ankle if you'd like. Thanks, Danny Go. That was thoughtful. I'm really sorry this happened. I didn't mean to. I would never intentionally hurt you. I know. Accidents can happen when you play. I'm sorry I snapped at you. I was just really embarrassed and didn't want anyone to see me in pain. Thanks for giving me some space to calm down and feel better. Of course, Pap Pap. Everyone has feelings. Sometimes when I get hurt, I get really angry. I'll even say or do things I wouldn't normally. It's hard to think clearly when you're hurt. That's true. Thanks for being so understanding. You're welcome. Hey, is your ankle feeling any better yet? I think it is. 
Why don't we see if you can hit Bearhead's fastball? Oh yeah, <laughs> I'll knock it out of the park. Okay. Let's go. Man, that was an incredible hit. Oh, thank you, guys. Man, I had so much fun playing sports with you guys today. But I think it's time to go home. Yeah, okay. You guys ready? Yeah, All let's right. do it. All right. Let's go. Whoa. Hey, I'm home. Man, that was such a fun day playing sports with you guys. Thanks for coming along and learning all kinds of stuff with me. You know, I better go take a bath and get cleaned up after all that. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Whoa. Hey, I almost forgot to tell you guys, Danny Go has a new website where you can get all kinds of shirts and hats and stickers and backpacks and blankets. You gotta ask your mom or dad to check out dannygo.net. All right, see you guys later. 